We're back playing is... Minecraft. We are uh, we're literally pretty much in the same spot as you saw us in at the end of episode three. I'm out here not dying, luckily enough. Uh, killing things. Carolyn believes that she's almost finished with her house, which means it's going to take a whole nother part to finish. Damn, that's some there... endurance. What? Oh, oh, because of the sperm joke. Yeah, I got yeah. It. I mean, I can last pretty long, though. You know, two hours. No, I don't know it. No, I, I don't. No, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. No, I don't want to know. I regretted of. the question as soon as it exited my mouth. <laughs> Austin is the kind of person who really does not like to know that stuff, but he asks the questions every single nope. time. I and I regret it every time because I don't think. And he knows, and he knows I'll answer. I don't want to know. I I really don't. I don't care. <laughs> I'm perfectly happy not knowing. My life. Is Comment down no below problem. if you want to know, and especially if you want Austin to hear it. There are monsters Karen, nearby. Can you come open this door so the cats don't murder each other? Sure. Like, what? Why is there a zombie villager randomly here, and he looks almost like a potion maker? What are you uh, doing here? He's making potions, dude. Well, he's dead. Actually, you can leave that door open. Yeah. <gasps> I remember she's using headphones now. So. It can always be left open. It's almost like we never have to deal with a cat problem ever again. No, we really don't. Oh my like, god. Guess what just happened? I what? burped, but I moved away from the microphone. You know, like you're supposed to do. And I burped once in four hours. So, actually, I didn't burp when we were testing all this stuff. So, I haven't burped in like six hours. All right. All right. I mean, it's a little bit more than average, but, you know. I found some gold. You know what I'm going to make for everyone? Because I'm such a nice guy. Ice Except cream sundaes? I, I mean, I would like to do that. By the time I ship it to you guys, it'll be all melted. I mean, that's true. You know what? I'm going to I'm gonna make myself a favor. Oh, I can... You're going to make I'm... a... No, I'm, I'm mad at wave. myself because I gave... I was like, I'll be nice and I'll give Austin all my wood. And then I came back up and it was night... And now it's nighttime, and now I can't get wood very easily because it's nighttime, and I get attacked by everything. And so now I can't make an iron axe to get wood faster, and also I can't make a bunch of bows, which is what I was going to make as a present. But I now... got a bunch of wood in my house. There's a really annoyed spider outside. Oh, did I get a carrot? Hell yes, I got a carrot from a zombie. Loot looting sword comes in clutch. Get this wood real quick. Not from Austin's house. I'm getting my own wood. Just like my mama taught me. That's okay. Look, I didn't say stepmother. This isn't another Pornhub search that we have to go on. No, I, I just, I know your mom. <laughs> I can't imagine her going to the woods with an axe. You're correct. I don't have an axe, though. You don't? Oh. No, I'm using a pork chop, just like my mama taught me. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and it's cooked, so it's proper. There we go. Now I can make an axe. Right as the daylight comes. Daylight comes and, and we want to go, go home. home. Six foot, seven foot, eight, eight foot, foot bunch! bunch. <laughs> it's bunch. Did you just say... I, uh, wait, is it actually bunch? Yes, because yeah. it's, it's about a bunch of bananas. Like a bunch I thought of it was bananas. lunge. I'm Fucking Beetlejuice slide. No, no I'm it almost says certain. bunch in Beetlejuice. I know, but then they the lunge dog. forward, and I thought, oh, that's clever. It, it, it's... it's <laughs> we're just, I, you know what? I just don't feel like having this conversation right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> Every day I learn something new, new that you did not understand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm incompetent. <laughs> I mean, look, I get lyrics wrong all the time. Like, um, 
here here let's do a good fun one i i learned this from a video not like about a year or two ago um but have you guys played tony hawk pro skater uh which or one any of them any of them let's yeah. say no uh do you know the song uh that goes uh but uh, da, 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 I, I, I think so. I don't want to say the name because uh, that's the whole thing. Uh, where it goes, da, 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 radio. You know that yeah. song? Okay, what are they actually saying? Not a clue. Okay, for my brain, I hear da, 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 turn off the radio. That's what I always okay. heard. Uh, if you go back and look at that song, it's 100% Gorilla Radio. Oh. And they go, Gorilla Radio! But it always sounds, but again, the way they say it, it, go, it sounds like, turn off the radio! Do, 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 turn that shit up! Lights out! <laughs> Gorilla Radio! But it sounds, I, I, I swear to God, you go listen to it, it 100% sounds like turn off the radio. I don't, I and wouldn't I, mind a Gorilla Radio. And I was one, 100% uh, watching a video where people were talking about that song and they started to sing it and half the people said Gorilla Radio and half the people said turn off the radio and the other people were like no it's 100% Gorilla Radio and then they like they were making fun of him and then one other guy goes yeah I thought it was turn off the radio too <laughs> and uh, I was sitting there like I thought it was turn off the radio cuz I only heard it in Tony Hawk so I was like uh oh I'm one of them <laughs> I'm one of them. I'm an, I'm an Austin Carolyn! What? There's a bow in your window. I don't know what you mean. There's a bow in your window. A bow in my window? There's a bow in your window. Where? Which window? This window. Which window? How is this uneven? Thank you. Oh, no, what it's are you not. talking okay. about? Is it? Oh, hey, spider guts on the floor. One, two. I finally put a door. One, Color two. your shoe. Three, One, four. Two, three, out the four, door. Five, five seven, six. Eight. Bow in Austin's chest. Okay. Wait. I made bows. I made bows for my I friends. I made glass. They don't appreciate it. They don't appreciate it. Kill them in their I sleep. I appreciate Kill it. Kill them in their I sleep. I fixed it. Don't worry. You fixed what? The unevenness. Okay. It was off by two. Raise your hand if you cared. Oh, nobody? Hey, the 80, 80, 80, 80 fucking, whatever that fucking acronym will care. You know, the people that actually have, OCD? uh, yes, OCD is what I was about to say. Uh, the people who actually have that are really mad that you didn't, uh, that you didn't finish that sentence. <laughs> They're also mad that you didn't do it right the first time. Correct. I did. I miscounted by one because I didn't walk in a straight line. Man, they're going to be so mad you didn't uh, go in a straight line either. Well, fuck them. Well. Yeah, way to alienate all our viewers. Because <laughs> you know only the people on the internet are the OCD ones. No other ones exist. What about me? I doing some farming home home on the farm where the cows and the chickens f where they make little babies where then i go and kill them and then we get all their meat from their bodies i can't i can't go to farms okay and that's it you want glass do I want glass? You're fucking. You're drowning. Are you hole. offering me drugs? No, I'm offering you glass. Is that code for drugs? It, no, it's a pipe to smoke the drugs in. Oh, it's for an alien. Got it. Yes, which is not illegal. Yes, it is. No, it is not. Not in the United States of America. Oh, it's not legal true. here either. And not, not illegal here either. I'm pretty sure paraphernalia is illegal. Nope, not here. Maybe it's a county thing. I don't, I don't think so. Do you want this glass? Do I? You know what? It might be something about probation. Fine. I saw it on cops once. I got real quiet. 
Are we are we not talking about cops? <laughs> <laughs> Is that like a taboo subject or something? <laughs> no. Me and Carolyn me and Carolyn were doing a very silent bit. <laughs> You'll see it. You'll see it. You'll see it on the video. <laughs> me, me and Carolyn, we're, she was like, do you want this glass? And I just stared at her and she threw it at my face and it went in my inventory right in my hand. So I just switched to my sword and I start, got like a little closer and she backed up a little bit and pulled out her sword and I got a little closer and then she pulled out her, she pulled out her bow and started to aim it and I got way closer to her and she backed up into a hole and then I kept getting closer and closer and I don't know if Carolyn realized that PvP is still off. So there's oh, no, literally I, I, nothing I could have done. I know. It was for the content. <laughs> okay. Good. 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 All right, then. It was like, a very silent joke. But yeah, exactly. not even okay. But, it was, but it, was, it, was even, it was even made funnier because you were like, Are, is cops not okay? Is this a bad subject? <laughs> I don't uh, know. Can, can we not talk about this on YouTube? <laughs> I don't know. Shit. Is this, was real is quiet. this a sore subject? <laughs> I'm just like, you know what? I like I like that show Cops. Cops is 100% still on the air. Okay. That's not... They brought they brought it back not that long ago. Like maybe because 3 it, years ago. It was on the air for like 20 years and then it was off the air then back. Yeah, but then they came it came back like a couple of years ago. I don't know exactly how long, but it's definitely been on for a couple of years. I also remember cuz there was like a new episode like um that a place nearby here oh, like okay. there, there like it was filmed nearby here um, yeah because it was when like spike died is where it went away yeah I, again i don't watch cops that much so I, I to... i've watched like maybe eight episodes at most oh i've watched like a lot it just got yeah. dark real fast because it's about to storm it didn't storm last time. Monkeys. It, it it did it it did across the hill and only for like a little spot that I was in. Oh my! I, I, I saw. I saw your. I mean, you can if you want. That's up to you. Um, but I was gonna say something and I forgot what it was. You saw something. <sighs> oh oh oh! I was freaking out because I saw Carolyn like under a tree in a full under full armor and like. Just for a second, she looked like a skeleton, and I was like, "Fuck! What are you doing?" And I'm, and then I was, and I saw the name, and I was like, "Oh, that makes sense." I was like, "Oh, it's Carolyn." Got it. I got it. a shit ton of redstone. Good. That will be useful for the many maps we have to make. Strip mining. See, we could cheat and just do a six by six map wall of. Like, they're really small maps, but I need to find out, like, I need to get, like, a bigger sized one, and then... Because the I haven't decided... No, I don't think the, the biggest one possible is probably ridiculous. And I kind of don't want to do that, because also the, the biggest one possible, you can't see, like, shit on the map. Like, you have to build, like, giant structures for anything to appear. So I don't want to do the biggest one possible. I kind of just want to... I kind of my experiment. I might do that off... I'm out camera. of fucking pickaxes. I gotta go all the way back down. I might go off camera and just test map sizes and see which map size we should use. But, uh, if I get time to. Or I'll just experiment while we're filming. And, and do it. I don't know what we'll do, but at some point, uh, I will figure out what size map we will use, and then we, and then I will start at least putting the if, at least if I can get the blank maps up on the wall, then it's just a thing of like taking them down and filling them out. There's a bunny over here. Murder it. Eh, bunnies are too annoying to kill. Murder it. It's they're too annoying to kill. Murder it. No, I'm not chasing it. <laughs> not spending thirty minutes chasing a goddamn bunny around. So I'm not tying my shoe. Man, no one got that. That's fine, though. I guess no one learned to tie their shoe that way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just got okay. that now. Yeah. 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 It's how long did it take you to understand that? Is it A, understood it immediately, B, five to ten minutes, or C, I still don't get it. What the fuck are you talking about? You're an idiot. 
And if you or pick is it C, D? what the fuck is a rabbit? I hope it's if not you pick, D. If you pick D, then you're a child of two years or younger, and you should not be on your parents' phone watching YouTube right now. Um, <laughs> if your answer is C, uh, then you're you Austin. are Austin, or you're probably five years old and haven't yet to learn to tie your shoes. Hey, I've learned how my fucking. I know how to tie my shoe. <laughs> okay, I, I said like how Aust- you didn't get it. Oh, okay. shit, we have phantoms. We need to sleep, guys. <laughs> Don't yeah, tell me what do. to do. I'm going to die. Um, There are phantoms. There I am are... all the way back. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 I'm freaking out. Oh, God. Okay. Use your I shield. Can't... Use your shield. I can't sleep because there's monsters. Okay. Well, are you in your house? I'm in your house because I don't have a bed yet. <sighs> Take your bed. Or take the free bed that's in the chest. Hold up. I got I two stand. beds in my house. I'm Come on. To leave because of phantoms. Hold up. I got a shield against this phantom. God dang it. Okay. Die already, please. I think I somehow smacked a phantom that flew down. Come on, phantom. Smack that phantom. Ooh, smack that phantom. Ooh, smack that phantom. Ooh, smack that phantom. I love it long time. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, come on. American Idol. I haven't watched that show in years. Yeah, but it was like on one of the like, like quintessential seasons of that show. Yeah, Ooh, no, you're so sexy. Or maybe I'm, you know what? I'm probably, I think I'm confusing two things. I am. I am. I'm confusing two things. I'm confusing uh, Ooh, You So Sexy and uh, what's that song? It's like, I don't know. The sexy pants, like Asian guy on American Idol or whatever who got really famous because of it. Uh, Every, the internet knows what I'm talking about. And I can't Google it right now because I'm fighting phantoms because no one wants to sleep in this. I'm Dang asleep game. right now, and no one else is sleeping. Well, I have to fight phantoms because Austin is taking 30 years. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to go back, aren't I? Yes. Uh, I don't, I don't care what you do. I don't. I gotta fight phantoms. It'll take me like all. It'll take me all night to, just to get back. Then, 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 what you can do is you can take your second bed, and you can bring it in the uh, mine with you. Uh, Look, you can't hide in caves forever. Guess I can. You can, but it ruins the game for us. Maybe. Because then we have to a fight all the monsters ourselves. Um. Oh, come on. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Get the fuck out of here. God dang it, god dang it, god dang it, god dang it, god dang it. Monkey! That doesn't help me. Doesn't help me that there's 37 skeletons around. And that I have to fight the phantoms and the skeletons at the same time. Don't blame me. I do because you keep staying in the mine and not want to sleep. I'm going! This is literally your fault. It's gonna take me a minute, god damn! <laughs> I don't know what happened. I, I um I, I I think I heard your scream from Carolyn's mic. I walked it in on Enderman. There's an Enderman down here. <laughs> and it legit scared me. I wasn't ready. Okay. Oh screw this. Get in my own house. I wasn't ready. I God was not it. ready. Oh my god. You are so full of arrows. Well, there are oh my, 37 like, skeletons. One, two, three. You have like seven arrows in you. I wasn't ready for the end of yep, it. My heart stopped. I do. He was well, just in a hallway staring at me, and I, I kind of freaked out. Where's the damn... Don't stop, die. Stop freaking shooting me. Okay, the neighbors might complain about that one. I'm trying to figure out where all these skeletons are firing at me from. I hear someone getting hit by arrows. It's, it's me. 
I mean, I'm using my shield a lot. Just go in your house. Are you? Well, I can't sleep with everything surrounding it. Oh, fair point. So. Oh, struggle. Yeah, that's are you in your? Where are you that. at, Austin? Where are you at? In your tunnel. Oh, good. Those skeletons are finding each other. I'm in a house. Hi, hey, Dylan. You look like a porcupine. Good. Because <laughs> it's hell out there. I was kind of hoping I would lead them there and use your death hole. I don't have a death That's, hole anymore. It's what I call... No, it's what I call your little uh, glare hole that you got. Can we sleep now? If I can get in the house and they're... Okay, I can sleep. Come in so... my house, Dylan. I have an extra bed. Super chest. Super chest. No, just sleep, just sleep, just sleep, just sleep. Okay, now we have to wait for Austin. Okay, good. No, that's why I was telling Austin to do it, because I knew he was in his house. Yeah. Let's, let's let everything like burn. There's so many arrows. I, I was fighting. Clearly I was fighting while you MVP. guys were standing there and watching. I was sleeping. I, was I mean, I have helpful. the dark. Listen, I have the diamond sword. I understand that I got to fight, but still. Hey, there's nobody in the hole. Come here, creeper. Also, oh, yeah, you're... The... move, Austin. Move, Austin. Move, Austin. Austin, I don't want the farm getting blown up. I need to build a barn today. Well, I was going to freaking shoot an arrow at him, but he dropped him in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he came back to the top. Because hey, hey, I, sh I shot him. Useful. Look. Yeah, I've fallen in it three times already. <laughs> yeah, you'll be fine. Okay. Whoa, that makes a cool sound. What makes a cool sound? Oh, wait. Oh. Aw. Aw, I'm gonna make a cool sound. It made a cooler sound before. I don't know. Okay. Austin. Yeah. If you're gonna keep mining, which I'm fine with you doing, uh, take a bed with you. Okay. That that way it's Baby not cow. hell up here. All right. Take it I mean, bed. again, you don't you don't you don't have to mine if you don't want to right now. No, no but, I, I enjoy it. But I'm just saying, it's cathartic. Please take a bed with you, so uh, so at least. Um. Yo, anyone got it, a bucket? Yes. Or like a lot Why of extra iron. Need I need four buckets. I mean, I have one bucket. Why do you need it? Actually, you know what? I'll just bring a whole bunch of wood. It's fine. Well, what do you need it for? Powering my furnaces. Oh, okay. But isn't... Wait. When you put a bucket with lava in it, doesn't it just immediately empty when you start cooking something? Maybe. So don't you only need one bucket? Oh, yeah. Never mind. I mean, but you could also make a bucket with some of the iron that you smelt from the stuff that you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I realized that, and then I was like, fuck, and then I also realized I could just get, like, charcoal and shit and make a bucket, you know? You're correct on that end. When you have diamond, you can uh, take your one diamond that I still have left over and make a pickaxe. Okay, thank you. My nose edges! Okay. What should I do? I should do something, but I don't know what it is because mining is just boring <laughs> for the audience. Uh, well, you have oh, no, unless you we used... share about something. I mean, um, I was say you could go on an expedition, try to find another village or something, but but yeah, going out is probably a good idea. And since I have an extra bed, I'm gonna take it with me. For the times where I need to dug myself into a hole. Also, let's get rid of a bunch of this stuff that I don't need right now. Um, now, here's the thing. I can take the diamond sword with looting with me. Um, that way I have a diamond sword with looting. In case I run up on Endermen and, st and stuff I need to kill. Which makes sense. But if I die, and I don't know where I'm at, and we can't get back to it, we don't have a diamond sword with looting anymore. Hmm. So diamonds. There's, the, there's the conundrum. You found diamonds? Yeah. How many? Do you know yet? No, not yet. At least two. Okay, well you kind of you kind of just nailed that nail in the coffin that I should take it with me. 
Because when it was our only two diamonds, it might uh, not have been uh, at it. least three. Okay, then yeah, I'm taking this with me. We still we do need you need to make a pickaxe with that yep. first. And uh, honestly, if you want to go ahead and get at some point soon, if you want to get a uh, if you want to get it's four, you found four good. Okay. That's another sword and a pickaxe. Um, if you make a pickaxe with that, and then on the way back, if you want to get obsidian. Uh, there's none down here, but I can try to find some. Well, I mean, you have a bucket, right? Nope. I forgot to take one. I can make one, though. Okay. You just have to get water, then, because you're, again, yeah. right next to all that lava. Just cut, like, cut off a section of it and then just pour water over it. Yeah, I can... Because uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a flint and steel. There's some water behind me. Oh. And I'm putting it in my chest. And then that way, when you bring up Ooh, 10 obsidian, I think is the minimum amount you need. We could make it. We can make another portal. And then we can start searching in there for the shit we need. Okay. Because we need, we need three obsidian for a enchanting station. We need the obsidian for the ender portal. We need blaze rods uh, to make a potion stand to make potions. I mean, we also need a bunch of shit from the from the nether to make potions. True. Um, we need blaze rods to build ender eyes to eventually find the end portal to get to the dragon. So actually having a diamond pickaxe and getting obsidian will at least make us some progress. All right. Um, <sighs> Instead of dicking around as much as we are. Okay, so I, need right now. I don't need that. I'll take this as a precaution. I don't need that. Carolyn. Yeah? What is your favorite TV show right now? My favorite TV show right now, like that I'm watching currently. I don't know. I interpret that as the way you will. Well, I guess currently I've mostly been watching Heartland, which no one will know what it is unless you're from Canada. Well, describe the show to me. I am an American. It's I don't know what horses. Heartland is. It's it's about like a ranch in Alberta where they help with um taking care of horses that have been like abused and stuff it's not like it's a fiction based show based on a book series um it's really good and i like it nice austin favorite tv Yo, show right what now. up uh right now oh you're making me think Ugh. correct i'm making you think oh my god really I'm making you think for once. Oh, the tragedy. Yeah, it is. It is a tragedy. Um, fuck, what's it called? Hold on. I watched an episode last night, and it was really fucking good. Uh, hold on. Actually, Dylan, you'd like this show, too. Uh, hold on. Although, actually, there's two. There's The Dresden Files, which is just fucking amazing. I've heard that show before. Can you so just good. can you give can you like describe it, me what that show is again? Uh, I don't remember. Wizard Detective. That's okay. Based the, it's based off the books. Oh, um, that's why I've heard it. That's why I've heard it. I've heard that book yeah. thing before. Yeah. Um, it's based off the. I love the books, and the series ran for one season. Uh, back in two thousand seven. There's only twelve episodes. And. Mm. Honestly, barring some bad writing from the books and, like, some mediocre effects, it's mm -hmm. fantastic. Okay. Like, uh, I understand why it didn't do very well, though, because if you don't read the books, you won't get the show. Mm. Uh, and then the other one is called Tales from the Loop. Wait, 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 wait. What, 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 what? When did that come out? I don't know. It's out, though. Like Tales from the Loop, like the tabletop RPG? No, it's inspired by the wondrous paintings of Simon Stallenhag. 
Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. My Minecraft just paused for a minute. <laughs> Tales from the... It's on Amazon Prime, dude. Try It's amazing. What? What is the name of... Okay, there's a tabletop RPG. That's not D D Dungeons & Dragons. But it is so similar to that name that my brain just melded the two together. And I don't know what that is called. Um, Stranger... Things like table top RPG. I know it's just gonna come up with the stupid dumb dragon. Oh, one. by the way, uh, Fanny's the ground. Okay, come wait, up wait, with wait. A... Okay. wait. Sorry, hold up. Go for it. Okay, okay, okay. I know I'm right. I knew what I was right. There, there is an a tabletop RPG. 100% called Tales from the Loop, and it is 100% getting its own TV series on Amazon Prime. I believe you. And guess what? I didn't pay attention and realize that that thing was already out. So you is know it, what? I should watch that show. Is it not the same thing I just said? It is. It is. Okay, yeah. It's really good. It's like, in Tales from the Loop, the tabletop RPG you played is 80s teenagers solving mysteries connected to the loop, an underground particle generator created by the government that causes otherworldly effects. That yeah, this one's not. You're, you don't play as a teen, obviously, but well, it's a TV show. Yeah. It's whatever the character is. Well, no, it's a whole, it's like an anthology series. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, it's it's so I watched one episode. And it's really good. It'll kind of fuck your brain up a little bit, but it's good. That's actually kind of an RPG I've wanted us to do as like a one shot, but I ah! the, the book is like really complicated. So. Uh, I want, like, uh, and that's what ties in what I was going to say. Fantasy Grounds has come up with a new interface recently. No, I know. We, we it's can play Unity. like Monster Hearts and stuff. Yeah. Oh, with Monster Heart? Maybe that's I'm pretty not sure I saw that. Thing. Yeah. Um, it was on their website because I was talking to Sean down through downloading. I was like, what the fuck is Unity? Uh, and uh, yeah. Unity is like Fantasy Grounds 2.0. It's, it's like, it's server based. So instead of like you host it on your computer, it's hosted on servers. So honestly, when. If you eventually switch to it, it might run better on your computer. Yeah, I might just uh, do that. Like mine, it might not work any better, but it might might actually make mine worse. But uh, yours, it would probably work better. Uh, they they add things that some other tabletop online features have, like dynamic lighting, so you can put dynamic lighting on your maps, and like the tokens, like the people who own the tokens will see lighting based around like the walls you place and everything like that. So you could that's actually nice. build a full dungeon map. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I really liked Roll20 at first. When I first used it, is that feature exactly. Because it's really cool. Um, I but, might die when I'm down here. Well, unfortunately. Um, but uh, you saying that water. really confused me. Okay, my TV shows. Um, I will say one that... I will say, I guess, the most recent one that I've actually finished uh, would be... Also, an Amazon Prime show would be fuck. What's the name of it? Don't don't remember the name of it. And I know if I say the description, everyone's gonna get it. And I'm gonna feel terrible about it. Say the description. <sighs> I will. This this raunchy superhero one. The boys. Thank you. The boys. God damn me. The boys is my good. Brain. I love the boys now. Uh, yeah, the boys is good. McKay and another person who used to work with me. Uh, recommended oh, it to me a whole bunch of obsidian just now and he said uh okay great um he said Fuck, i'm lost he he basically said i know your personality i know what you like you're gonna like the boys and i said yep. all right we'll watch it and i watched it and i love that show uh i love how that show 100 percent flips everything on your head all the time and I, that's that's my favorite thing about uh good tv is is shows that i can't predict well um are good like the whole first scene of that show is a huge mind fuck and i love it yeah like the whole like first moment where you meet the quote main character and his whole scene with uh i'm leaving his store and talking with his girlfriend and i won't spoil it if you haven't watched it so go watch it out there um that scene where i thought something was going to happen and it just definitely does something completely 180 um is great um i don't know why i slept in that bed not that other bed but um is great that's the most recent show i finished uh two other shows that i think people should watch that uh one of them i finished but it was before the boys um and the other show i haven't finished 
and I know just recently finished, but I'm a really big fan of, and I want to go finish at some point. Uh, first show that I actually finished that I think is maybe one of my favorite shows of all time period is Preacher. Not enough people watch Preacher, and you should go watch Preacher if you're out there in the world. Um, it is not the show you think it is. I will tell you that much. If you've ever read the comic book Preacher, then you know mostly what that show is. Um, that show is the most surprising on television. It is the one that's the most... I, I don't know how to say this. Not political, but the one who just like wants to throw everything out the water, I guess. It's it, he, he, I guess my basic description is it's about a Texas preacher that has a mysterious past that gets some kind of mystical power and his best friend, the vampire and his girlfriend, the badass woman. And that's all I'm going to say about that. And you should go fucking watch it. Um, because the fr like it's funny because I think the first season is maybe some of the best like. You could you could take the first season and and cut it off and it'd be the maybe the absolute best thing on television ever. Not that the other seasons are bad, but it's just it's so self-contained. And then season two, three, and four, which I think are all the seasons, get weirder, but get also way more fantastical. And it's just um here here's I guess here's what I'll say. Um season one is a good amc show if you know what that means like if it's like the walking dead Yo, how much obsidian did we need we need eight for the ender portal or the uh i'm sorry the nether portal we need three no we need four for a enchanting table so uh i don't think we need more than that at the moment we we will need more if we ever want to make ender chests which we might want to at some point um, but we don't need more at the moment, um, because we need to get the nether portal first. Um, cool, I'll have both in a second here. Okay, great. Um, the, the, like the, the way I described the first season is basically it's an extremely good, uh, AMC show with like an interesting twist. Like, you know, I, I don't know if anyone's ever heard of the Amazon show that was, advertised a lot called good omens oh, yeah I do. you guys know how that trailer is supposed to make you think like i've never watched good omens but i've heard not it. it's good oh it is good yeah. um it's i will uh no go ahead i'll let you good we'll good, talk about it good omens good omens reminds me too much of preacher it, it, it almost feels like they saw like the first and second season of preacher and like let's make that <laughs> like it's not that it's a carbon copy by any means. It's definitely a different story. But like the stylized like way it is. I'm going to tell I, again, I haven't watched Good Omens. If you like Good Omens, you should 100% watch Preacher. Um, the first, again, the first half of the first season, it just almost feels slightly like a funnier Walking Dead clone. Uh, except for a few wacky things. But by the end of the first season, it feels 100% like a crazy show that's different. And then season two, three, and four almost make it feel like, um, almost like way more like Good Omens, I guess is the best way to say it, um, from what I've seen of Good Omens. But it's literally like on my top like three list of my most favorite shows of all time, uh, just about what it does and what it says and just how much it's like... You think we're going to go one way and we just entirely go another. There are plenty need, of times where what? Carolyn? I need glass. Okay. I'll go give so you the, the ones you gave me. I need more than that so the chickens don't hop out the windows. Okay, well, uh, I have five. So, happy birthday. Um, happy birthday to you. It's behind you. Um... Thank you. I'm, a, I'm kind of been just wandering around waiting for Austin to get back so I can the Ender Portal uh, or the Nether Portal. Can you put some sand in a furnace? Do, do I have sand? Is the question. We're next to a goddamn desert, you two. But I meant, <laughs> yeah. do I have sand in my inventory or in my chests where I can easily pick it up and not have All to? All right, I'm pretty sure there's a zombie gangbang happening down here, so I'm gonna leave. 
Okay, that's good to know. Um, in case have, we need to know that information. I have 17 obsidian. Yeah, that's fine for now. We can get more obsidian. As long as we have a diamond pickaxe, we can get more obsidian. Um, there's also a shit I, ton like, of it down there's, here. There's so many things I want to say that will 100% be like, oh my god, that happens in that show. That's something I need to watch. But I don't want to say it because it's so surprising every time it happens that it's just... It's just... I'll, I will say in the first episode, they introduce the badass woman chick uh, is, the, is one of the best ways to describe her. Which, by the way, is played by Ruth Nigga, and she's um, awesome. By the way, she's one of the best actresses uh, around right now, and she's great. Um, but... Uh, her introduction is she shows up and starts talking to a character. Then they fla or no, uh, they flash back to no. Actually, no, that's not her first introduction. Her first introduction is the flashback. Uh, she's driving through a cornfield uh, in like a hot muscle car, which is what she always drives. Um, she is not driving. She's like steering wildly through the corn because they zoom in and she's fighting a big fat dude in the front seat of her car while she's driving. Uh, beating his ass then she, she she wins and she lands on like this like kentucky family is the best way i can describe it they're like ma you know dad's out dad's out on the farm and you know mom's working at the bank and they're not home right now and she's like if she sees a bunch of random stuff around and she's like you know what you can help me with something can i borrow those and like they're playing with like metal soldiers and like there's like a bunch of cans and it looks like there's a moonshine operation. And so they have, she has like a conversation with the kids about like, you know, life and all everything like that. And she's like messing Dad, with like duct tape. Where are you? She's like messing with duct tape and stuff. I'm coming right now. Um, She's messing with duct tape and stuff. And then the end of the conversation is you hear a helicopter outside the door. And she's like, uh oh, okay, well, I'll have to deal with that. And then she zooms out and all, she's taped like all these giant. What the hell? Corn She's taped all these giant corn cans together. Who did that? Who did what? Someone grieved me. Well, who do you think it was? <laughs> but, <laughs> do you do you think it's the one that's in town that uh, just yelled, uh, Dylan, where are you? Or do you think it's the one who was not in town saying, I'll be right there? True. Wait, hold on. Carolyn. It's what was the verb you just used? She, you grieved her, like griefing. No, I know, but grieved is. I don't. Not, I don't think that's. It's the not a word, but it. it but it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Uh, you got the obsidian. Okay, I'm gonna build another. I'm gonna build another portal. Um, I'm also gonna double check the recipe for this because I think it's for. While I'm doing this, I'm gonna finish my story. It zooms out. She has all the um, the cans taped together, and she drops the metal soldiers in on one side, and she tells the kid, "And that kid's how is you, how you make a homemade bazooka." And then she walks outside. You hear an explosion and a helicopter crash, and then the kids walk outside. There's a crashed helicopter with like a dude with like all the metal soldiers like jamming into his face, and she gets in her muscle car and drives away. That's in the first eight minutes of that show. And it, and that's literally the one of the most tamest things of that show, is that scene, and that's why you should watch that show. Is my rambling right there? Is not enough pre people will watch that show. Go watch Preacher. I think it's on Hulu, or I know it's on AMC, but uh, go fucking watch it. It's I don't it's know on how Amazon I don't, Prime. It might be. I have no idea. But go watch it. Uh, I don't know how that show got made. Uh, it's Seth Rogen. It, I know, I agree, but like, it's still, I still can't believe it got me. Like, you haven't watched that show, so you have no idea. Yes, I, I have. don't know how that. Have you watched the whole thing all the way yeah. through to the end? Uh, no, not to the end. You um, need no, you need to watch the end because <laughs> I still I don't know how that show got made. Okay. What was the last thing you say? Like, non very spoiler heavy. What was the last thing you remember? Uh, something about something with his grandma and. Something going on there. Was it when he was arriving at his grandmother's? It was like half midway, midway through. Oh, so you're Hitler midway... has not yet escaped. Wait. 
Wait, has Hitler not? <laughs> See, people who only heard my interpretation of the show don't understand what we're saying. Yeah. Are you saying Hitler has not escaped the first time or the second time? S uh, second time. Hitler has not been recaptured yet. Okay, so you're right at the beginning of season three? Yeah. Oh, man, you have way more craziness. Have you even met Satan yet? Yeah. Okay. God, you need to f go back and finish that show. Yeah, because he gave the Saint of Killer back his shit. Okay. Yeah, but you haven't seen the conclusion of that. No, not yet. I gotta... I gotta... Guys, I'm... Guy, you know, I probably didn't show my view for a while because I've been just flailing. Because I can't talk and play at the same time, apparently. And I've been like, what am I supposed to be doing right now? Like, three times. Make some glass. I um, are, It's in my house cooking. You can go get whatever is left. I'm trying to figure where I should put this nether portal. Right over here. Let's put it right here. That seems like a good spot. Um, and then the other show that I've never finished and I've only honestly watched, I think mostly, I think I've almost finished the second season at some point, but again, I watched it a while ago and it just recently finished, finished, and I need to go back and watch it, um, is a show called The Magicians. And I'm assuming people out there know what it is. Is that any good? Uh, I think at least the first season is 100% really good. Um, again, I haven't finished the show, but I don't know. I don't know if it's your cup of tea, Austin. Okay. Uh, but I think you should try at least the first season. You might not like it, but I mean, then again, you like the boys. Yeah. Um, well, because I know at least. Well, I'm saying like, well, yeah, I guess because you shy away from like. I guess more of the raunchy stuff, but there's not really much raunch in that show. I guess there's only like a couple parts, and honestly, they say more than they show. Really, hmm. the best way I can describe it to people who haven't watched it, it's like if um, Harry Potter was college aged, but you mixed it with Narnia, and um, everything goes wrong every single time, with like deadly, like with like deadly consequences. Um, like Why every is time a doorway over here. What? Where are you talking what the about? The hell's the stairs? It goes into the cavern thing. Oh, okay. Oh, you mean the arch? Yeah. I built the arch so I wouldn't remember. I wouldn't lose where the staircase down to the ravine was. Oh, okay. Okay. Where are you, you right? now, by the way? What? Where are you now? I'm right to your left, middle, straight ahead. I'm right here, down. Not stop turning around, right? I'm <laughs> jumping. I'm freaking Luigi. Um. Uh, but the thing is, making it college age. Better get out of the portal. I'm about to light it. Lit the portal. Whoa. Be, be careful. <laughs> I'm so glad he went first because I was really scared of going first. Um, oh, good. This is we're up on a very big cliff. Oh, beautiful. Oh yeah, no. This is portal. This is a terrible spot. Uh, a little bit behind, a little bit between your and my house, uh, but farther back. Oh yeah, no. This is. This I'm is. Let go bad. check it out. Um. Yeah, mushrooms. We need to go deeper. Oh, this isn't terrible. The cliff doesn't go far down. I thought you meant like our other games nether spawn where we were literally no. on the ceiling. No. That and... sucked. Yeah, that one sucked. This one's not that bad. I mean, it's not the best. It's definitely could be a hundred times worse. And I brought the flint and steel in case a gas shoots at us. But we should probably not all three be in here all the time. I mean, we're fine right now, but... Next time anybody makes a trip to the nether, not everyone go. <laughs> I got some quartz. Get some mushrooms. Um, we're getting some things. Um, oh, we should also get glowstone while we're here. Luckily, oh, that's there's a hole. Thing right here that I can get glowstone with. Um... 
I again I haven't seen the show recently, but like again, the whole idea is like like imagine every time in Harry Potter where they got in like the worst situation possible and then somehow they just magically make it out of it and really don't get seriously injured. Um so like, like so the movies. Harry Potter. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm saying, imagine that in Harry Potter, but imagine like someone like gruesomely dying or like getting their like limbs chopped off. Like, that's the magicians is 100 percent that is like they're like, oh man, like this could like really kill us, and you're like, oh, you know, no one will die, and then someone like legitly dies, and you're like, what the hell? And then, uh, like one of the very first episodes, like a woman like tr like one of the main characters tries to bring back like a character from the dead uh from like a previous year and like d like deals with all that like it's like and, and, and like some of it is built for comedy like there's one like where this like popular girl gets like kind of sick and like they can't and she's trying to figure out what's wrong with her and then they finally figure out like some curse was placed on her and she can't figure out why so they finally like follow it all the way to like a logical like or like a place it's just like some dude's apartment and they knock on the door and they find a copy of her opens the door <laughs> and they're like what the hell but it's like super sexy uh like it's dressed sexily and then like a dude like that he, she's like been near like walks up to the door and they realize like all she did was curse or that he cursed her to like make like a sex doll over basically and like so that's like played like for funny ha-has but there is some like especially near the end of the first season like it just becomes a deadly like thing and especially when they get to like the narnia portion of it because like the whole thing is it seems more based on narnia because like the main character is obsessed with this book series about a girl who goes into a closet that ends up in a magical world and then he finds himself at a magical school and he's obsessed with the books and then he finds out that place is probably real and Blah 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 blah. Um, when they eventually go to that world, uh, it's way more like sick and disgusting <laughs> than they they pay it any mind. Um, it's it's the first. <laughs> what did you do? I didn't. There was a creeper and it blew up right. What next did to you portal. do? As soon as I got out. What? What happened? What did you do? I didn't do anything. Austin, why? Where are you? Places. Are you in the Nether? No. Why? Oh, okay. Well, now I have to relight the portal. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. I still have flint and steel. It's not that Wait, bad. Why do you have to relight it? Because a creeper blew it up and turned it off. It's obsidian, though. But okay, it portal, but it still apparently. turns off. The explosion will turn off a portal. That's why oh, it's right, really yeah. dangerous. That's why it's really dangerous to be around gas in the port in the Nether because they'll just turn off the portal. That's why you either bring flint and steel with you into the portal, or you make sure there's someone on the other side who can come back. Because if someone comes in through a lit portal, it will relight. So if you were in the Nether, I wasn't that worried about you because you could come back through and it would just relight automatically. But you're not, so I'm going to relight it right now so we have it. And then, honestly, we need to fence it off later. But we're not going to do that right now. Ah! Squid asshole. Are you screaming because it's a squid's asshole? Or are you screaming because there's a squid and he's an asshole? Scary! <laughs> I didn't explain my question. <laughs> you didn't explain. You didn't I say what. Me. Thank you. Thank you. I know. Thank you. Austin is still not answering my question. My cat got concerned. Okay. I, I forget what the question was. Are you talking about a squid's asshole, or are you yelling at a squid who is an asshole? Both. Fine. Then I was yelling at a skelly because there was a skelly. Yeah, I've got a bunch of glowstone. I got a bunch of stuff that we need. I've still got the obsidian, which I actually need to look at that. Oh, I could make a book right now. I can make a. I. You know what? I, I can make four this. books. Austin, how many diamonds do you have left? One. Do you have only one? You made a pickaxe, right? Yeah. Do you th Do you think you need a sword right away? Nah. 
Okay, I'm gonna use the one diamond I have to go ahead and make a uh, a enchanting table, and that way we can just I can focus we I can focus on books, and that way we have a badass enchanting table. If I can think about what I need to do that with, uh, where did I put the leather at? I put the leather in here. Oh, I have some a bunch of leather in my inventory. Whoopsies. Uh, there mostly is. And then I need... I had a paper somewhere. Did you get... I'm assuming you just got all the glass that I made. I did. Good. 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 Take all that. Ow! Good. 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 Got a bunch of paper. I think this is how you make a book. I was correct. Good memory, Dylan. Good job. Now I must build a enchanting table. Where are you? There you are. Oh, I need two diamond. Austin, awesome. you still have the diamond. It's in Where my house. Is it? I'm getting it. I'm going to build an enchanting table. Okay. Where, uh, there we go. Some trees. I'm cutting your sugar cane as well. Okay. I mean, it's still there. It's still growing, but it's definitely a lot shorter now. Okay. Time to make this thing that I thought I had the things for, but then I needed a thing. Slamming the door in my face. Running away on a wing and a prayer. Who could it be? It's Believe me. it or not, it's just me. Alrighty then. I thought that was a skeleton writer, but it wasn't. Austin, where are you at? Places. Are you near bed? No. Well, get near one. No, you don't have to get near one. That's going to be a problem. No, we're not going to get near one. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, because on that note, uh, as I have built an enchanting table that for now is just going to be set right here in this small little house because I want to actually build a beginning to the village and have an action. Oh, there you are over there. I see you now. Are you building a nether ship? No. What are you building then? Oh, that's cool. Don't worry about it. I mean, I can give you more nether rack if you want it. I just want to know what you're building. It might be a boat. Okay. It's not going to function. I know. Okay. Again, I'm fine with that. All right, then. Here's some more nether rack. Thank you. See what happens when you answer questions I ask? I don't care to an extent if you want to f off if it's if it's interesting. Um, as the sun rises on this new day, this pot will nude. end. Not in the nude. It is a new day on this nude world that we are putting clothes on slowly, bit by bit, block by block. We all shall cover it all until its shame, Mother Earth's shame, is gone. Uh. So, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Because, again, we have a huge list of things. In fact, we have not crossed a single thing off the list yet. Yes, we In have. Four... No, we have not. What is the thing we, we have crossed off the list? We went to the nether. That's not one of the objectives. I feel like it was. That is part of an objective. Huh. Okay, you know what? Because this is the end of this recording session, and it's been a couple episodes since we've gone over the list, at the end, I will go over the list, and then we will end. The list, as it stands, is... Number one, defeat the Ender Dragon. Haven't done that. Number two, defeat the Wither. Haven't done that. Number three, fully power a beacon. Definitely hadn't done that. Number four, build a conduit. Hadn't done that. Now you need to go exploring for that. Number five, get everyone an Electra. Haven't done that. Number six, build a village from scratch. Uh, I think we're going to start working on that soon. Uh, slash build an iron golem inside the village as well. Okay. 
Number eight, or number seven, technically, uh, complete a pillager raid. Haven't done that. Uh, number eight, brew every potion and put it on a wall. Haven't done that. Uh, number 10, build a six by six map wall. Definitely haven't done that. Uh, and number 10, uh, kit ourselves up with armor, weapons, enchantment, enchantments, horses, things like that. And then secret number 11, if the update is out, build a netherite pickaxe. Oh, that's what it is. Which would be in the nether if it was a nether update. But we don't have that. And also, it would still take a hell of a lot of stuff to make a netherite pickaxe. Um, because we have to do a whole thing for it. Um, so there's the list. It's in front of you guys right now. Nothing is crossed off yet, but we're getting closer to a few of them. Uh, building a village will start pretty soon. Um, once we get that building an iron golem and, and pillager raid won't be far off. Uh, we're working on getting more maps. We're already kitting ourselves up. Uh, honestly, we can explore the nether to get closer to the ender dragon and some potions. Uh, so that will all be done. And hopefully we can start, we can even start getting some wither skulls to be ready for the wither when we get to that point. Um, so that'll be fun. So be sure to check out the next episodes whenever they come out. Uh, subscribe, everything like that. Follow me on Twitch. You'll see my streams, uh, not of this game, but of other such games that I play. Uh, follow me on social medias to get any updates on this series streaming anything at all that's where all the updates go right there on the social medias follow me on there um and with that being the case we will see you all on the next episode of minecraft Ooh, say bye everybody bye, bye.